from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, this afternoon, at least across our area, temperatures very comfortable, mid-60s, my kind of weather. Down to the south, we had a bunch of 80s, even 91 in Orlando. Still kind of cold, but not as cold up across the Dakotas, so that's good. They're at least getting a little better. This high sliding off to the east. As that does so, south winds will start to crank back up tomorrow. Then another storm system arrives toward the Tuesday time frame. We'll have more on that here in just a second. In the meantime, yesterday was absolutely, unfortunately, a bad day. Lots of tornadoes, lots of bad tornadoes. Uh, they're still kind of sifting through all of the debris and the damage, and we'll hopefully get more updates on those here going forward. Behind that, where we were, we were getting all kinds of wind, a lot of gusts, 55 to 65 fires, damage. It was really kind of a rough day with that. And then tomorrow, we do have some showers moving in for parts of the area. A few rumbles of thunder, especially south. The highest threat is basically Tulsa to the south. The further north you go, the less of a threat. The further north where we have less rain, the fire danger is going to be ramped up because we're going to have those wind gusts in that 25, 30 mile per hour range, so it'll be a blustery day. Then as we move uh, to where our severe storm risk is, we're going to be talking about that mainly being down to the south, especially across central and north Texas. Looks to be where the highest chance of that is. Then Tuesday, that next system arrives. Once again, bulk that to our east. We're going to kind of be on the edge of it. We'll see how it plays out. But we will have another really windy day with the southwest wind and unfortunately a high fire threat. So watch out for that. That'd be Tuesday. Jinx looking good, 56. South breeze at seven miles per hour. We're talking about temperatures across the rest of the state, basically on par with that 40s to 50s with light winds and generally clear skies. South winds continue to pick up overnight. We'll see the morning tomorrow start in the 40s, so somewhat similar to today, just not quite as breezy. Then that short wave moves in during the afternoon hours. Scattered showers, rumbles of thunder, better chance for stronger storms down near and south of the Red River. Then we'll stay breezy and mild overnight Monday, and then Monday afternoon, back into the 80s. That's a good decade. I was born in the 80s, so that's what's up. All right, Tuesday, there's that next rain chance. That's that next storm system. Of course, Sunday, and then after that, we will get another opportunity to dry out most of the rain out of this. Still notice, along and south of I-40, the heavier amounts, so that would be kind of that half inch or more area. Very light as we head up towards Tulsa and points to the north. And once again, the rain's mostly falling in the areas that need it the least. So we'd like to take that and get it back there. Unfortunately, not something I can control. We're gonna be really warm the first half of the week then nice and comfortable as we head towards the second half of the week and then beyond that. And then the next week after that, near to near normal temperatures, really for the most part overall. And we'll see rainfall kind of near or drier than normal. That, that's how it looks at this point in time. Our uh, Metro planner as we head into tomorrow morning, 40s, a little bit chilly, but not bad. Windy by noontime, 60s and then into the 70s with showers mainly to the south. And kind of a gusty south wind. It's that time of year, of course. Fire danger where the rain isn't happening. 83, a pretty nice but warm day. Bre breezy on Monday. Then high fire risk, warm, windy on Tuesday. A chance for a few storms, especially to the east. And then we'll see cooler, drier, quieter weather for the rest of the week. And likely on into the weekend, the way things are looking right now. So if you like a lot more of the 60s, we've got a lot more of that coming up for you. We've got some 80s in there as well. That's a look at your forecast. Busy day in sports. Let's find out about it.